Where are you going? going so hey everyone, it's Sky here, and today we're going to be doing a tag video. Um, this tag was created by Erin over at Simple Art for Adults. Um, the tag is June Juxtaposition. It has been shortened down to June Jux. And I was tagged by Beth over at Cora Beth Colors, so both of those beautiful ladies' channel links will be in the description below if you'd like to go and check them out. So basically, the purpose of this tag is to see how far you've come on your coloring journey. So um, we'll be looking at some of my very first images and then kind of how I progressed and grew throughout my coloring journey and... Um, we'll end with a few of my most recent images to see the difference between the beginning and the current part of my journey. can't say the end because, you know, there, there never will be an end until the day I die. I will probably be coloring. Um, before we get started, though, I do want to say a few things. Um, Beth had forgotten to mention a couple things. They slipped her mind, so I offered to put them in my video so you guys know. So she wants me to say that anybody can you do this hashtag. Um, you can use the hashtag to post it to Instagram or Facebook. Basically, you just take a picture of your first and you know most recent colored pages, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, you can use the hashtag to post that on Instagram or Facebook. Also, there is going to be a giveaway at the Coloring Connection Facebook group. So the link for that Facebook group will be in the description as well. Uh, she says there is an album there for people to post their p first pages and most recent pages. And if you do so, you'll be entered to win an Etsy gift card. So, pretty awesome. Definitely get in on that. Go join the group if you're not already. And go ahead and enter, because that is pretty awesome. So, I think that's everything I needed to say. Let's get started. So, my very first adult coloring book was... Tropical World by Millie Morota. Um, Rain actually bought this for me. I heard about adult coloring from his sister, who, you know, she kind of has been going down a really rough path, and she found that adult coloring helped her quite a bit. Unfortunately, I don't think she ever continued with it. I don't think she colors anymore. But luckily, I heard about it from her, and I was super psyched. So when we went to the city, um, I was hoping to grab a Johanna Basford book because, of course, I had been doing some research because I like to be informed. But uh, the chapters that I went to didn't have any Johanna Basford. The only book they had was this one. So this is the one that I grabbed. And as you can see, if we take a closer look at it, it's been scuffed up quite a bit. There's paint on the back. It's dirty. It has been well-loved. This book is almost four years old. It is crazy. I started coloring in September, I believe, I think the 13th was my very first page ever finished. So it's almost been four years since I started adult coloring. So this was one of the very first pages I colored. So this was finished September 13th, 2015 as was this one here. So I had picked up just a cheap set of fine liners from the dollar store and that is what I used. Um, I just, I don't know, I was smoking at the time, I was still chewing my nails, I was just an anxious wreck. I couldn't sit for very long and I just, I couldn't force myself to slow down so I just, I colored and I did not care what it looked like, I just colored. <laughs> So these are from the 13th, and then, let's see here, so this was a day later, this is the 14th here, still with those fine liners, and then the 15th, some more fine liners, and then I remember a couple days after that is when I found a coloring group on Facebook, and I can't remember which one was the very first one I joined. I don't think I'm a part of it anymore. I, actually, maybe I am. I think it was coloring books for adults, but oh my goodness, I seen pictures on there, and I'm like, I am doing this wrong. <laughs> it's like, I want my pages to look pretty like that, so I grabbed my Crayola pencils, and I tried to teach myself blending, and it didn't work very well. I was very rusty at it. Um, a lot of people can do beautiful things with Crayolas. I still, to this day, 
don't think I can do that great of things with them. But I did start trying. So, I think I gave it up for a while, and then I came back in February of 2016 again with my Crayolas, and I colored this page. And I'm actually still really proud of this. Um, starting to blend a little bit more, um, not throwing so many colors in there, keeping it limited. I just really like how this page turned out. It is still one of my favorites. So, see what else we have in here. Oh, I lied. I started again in December and then not again until February. Again, still trying to shade and blend, but not going very good with it. And then this was almost a year later in 2017. This was with the Prismacolor Scholars, which was one of my first set of more professional but still student grade pencils. I do still really love how this turned out. I lied. This might have even been... I did lie. This is Marco Ruffin's. This is not Prismacolor Scholars. So this was Marco Ruffin's. Sorry. This one here again in 2017, closer to the end, was with the Prismacolor Scholars. So definitely really happy with that. At this point, later on in 2017, my shading was definitely getting quite a bit better. I was watching YouTube videos, trying to learn as much as I could, um, trying to slow down and taking my time. I believe in 2017 is when I quit chewing my nails. And that is why you guys always see my nails painted, is that's one foolproof way that I stop chewing my nails, because if they're pretty, I don't want to wreck them. So my anxiety calmed down quite a bit at that point. And then I'm going to jump to Mythomorphia. I just pulled some random books off my shelves here. Let's see if we can... This one is from December 2018, and this was done with the Ink Tense Pencils. So still working on color theory and what colors go well together, keeping a page limited, that kind of thing. Um, my ghoul was from 2017. I do really love this. I was using, um, who did I first see using that technique? Oh, Dee Dee. Um, I was using Dee Dee's technique of putting paint down and then pencil over top to save myself some time because although I did want my pictures to look really pretty, I also did not want to take hours to color them either, so kind of contradictive, I know. <laughs> and then this one is one of my more recent ones. This is the Siren. I actually did this with B. This was our buddy color picture. So this was in 2019, of course, the fifth month, which is May. I am really happy with this. This is done with Prismacolors, which I do have to say that having um, some artist-grade pencils definitely does help, but it's not 100% necessary. Um, you can definitely still make a picture look absolutely gorgeous with any kind of pencils. What the artist-grade pencils do is they're just a little bit easier to work with. For some, some actually find them harder to work with, and the colors a lot of the time are just a little bit more vibrant, so... That is pretty much the only difference. Um, see, I can't show you guys my most recent coloring page because I'm trying to keep it secret. But let's see what I can show you. Okay, we actually just finished this one on stream. This is my Gnomes in the Neighborhood book, which was gifted to me by Kylara. And we just finished this page, so lots of shading, um, getting in there with details, trying new things. Look at that water, it's just beautiful. I love that. So it's definitely been a journey. So this compared to my very first page right there. Yeah, that's that's a huge step. Even going with my colored pencil page compared to this, there's just definitely a big difference in the shading. Um, it's definitely a lot more smooth, but I do know that there's still a lot more that I need to learn and a lot more practice that I can do. And guys, because I love Hannah Lynn so much, of course, we have to throw some of that in there too. So I did grab my copy of Enchanted Faces, which was the very first Hannah Lynn book that I ever got. 
and let's see if I can find one of my first ones. I don't know if it's the very first, but one of. Where did it go here? I just saw it. I suppose this one works too. I don't know which one I colored first. Let's see, so I actually colored this one first. So this is Aliana's Otter. So I feel like you'll notice a lot bigger change comparing two similar things, such as people. And I will show my most recent, even though I should keep it a secret, because it's this month's color along, of course. So if you guys don't want to see how this month's color along turned out, close your eyes. I'll let you know when you can look again. Just let me find it here. Okay, here is this month's color along. It's Alice Lost. So here you can definitely see a huge difference. Um, it is different pencils. I used Prismacolor Premiers for this one and then uh, Crayola pencils for that one. So yeah, huge, huge difference. It's quite interesting to see. So that is it for my June juxtaposition. I'm going to think a minute and I will be back and let you know who I'm tagging. Okay, so the two beautiful ladies that I'm going to tag are Jody over at Coloring by Little Pickle. And actually right now I think her name is just Little Pickle on YouTube because her minis changed her name. And the other beautiful lady that I'm going to tag is Jani over at Craving for Coloring. So I will link both of those ladies' channels down in the description as well. And don't forget to do your own June juxtaposition on Instagram or Facebook. Go enter in the giveaway at the Coloring Connection. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys, as always, take care. Bye!